Kate Dines, welcome, welcome back to Caramel Lasso Kiss, George here, and uh, good morning from the NEC here in Birmingham. Uh, we are at the Grand Design Show today, um, I'm so about Lego, but you can kind of get the vibe. Um, yeah, we're at Grand Designs Live, which yes, is the same thing as the TV series with Deborah Cloud, it is their live show that they do kind of alternate back and forth between having here in Birmingham and over in London. Um, I am here as press today with Dave, hi Dave. Um, so we're going to have a little explore. There's talks on all day. There's obviously loads and loads of stuff, lots of engineering stuff. There's all sorts of material stuff. We're just going to go see what we can find, really. Uh, you might like to come with us. Now, here we go. I always love that kind of entrances they do for these shows. I've done the Birmingham One Express a couple of times. Um, Dave and I did London together a few years ago. Yeah, always a good one. Um, at the time of filming, so it's currently Wednesday the 6th, um, I'm going to put this out tomorrow on the Thursday. So if you watch this on day of release, the show is still on for the rest of the weekend until Sunday. And again, at the time of filming, there are still tickets available for all the other days. So if you want to come, you still can. Um, make sure you've got proof of vaccination. They are checking that on the way in. Otherwise, we're all good. So yeah, here we are inside. Just to give you a bit of an idea of the scale of the show, it is pretty big. Um, although I don't think it's as huge as last year. It sometimes pairs up with... Um, uh, one of the garden shows um, which makes things a little bigger but yeah there's still plenty to look at I think keep us busy cool where to start right obviously we've started with coffee of course um, and now we're going to go and check out the design arcade um, which is like interior stuff uh, lots of cool I think most of a lot of it's into design stuff too from what I can remember all these are cool there's always really interesting little browns in these some of these little sort of stores like this I like this steampunk vibe from Bad Dog Design, so that's very cute. Love that. Um, if you're so inclined, obviously there's lots of the stuff that is here today is available to buy. Um, for most people, for most of us, I imagine that is probably not going to mean huge pieces of art like this. I might mean buying some little cushions. Um, I'm probably not buying one of those giant garden lanterns, which I love, but these are beautiful. But yeah, if you are in the market to do a bit of shopping, it can be done. Like it. Wow, these are so colourful. Amazing. Hmm. Oh, I think the man himself might be on stage at the Grand Theatre, which is just in front of us. We'll have a look at that when we get down there. Let's see. Prints. Uh, again, on a thing where you need to be able to do smells on YouTube, because the, this candle store walking past smells really nice. <laughs> All right, I'm obsessed. Look at these, they're made out of barrels. So we've got this like champagne bucket situation. These are arcade games. These are amazing. These are very cool. Uh, uh, this is a company called The Creative Station. These are amazing. Oh, this one's got like a bar optics in. I love these, these are great. Nice man is letting us have a play. Dave's gonna demonstrate as I've got no hands. <laughs> Space Invaders. This is the coolest ever. I'm officially obsessed with those things. We've just found one with a bar optic, wireless charge points, a bar fridge, and an Alexa point in it. What? Amazing. I'm just saying it's the sort of thing that would be really cool if you had like a garden bar. It would be ace for that. So good. I was right. Kevin McLeod is on stage at the moment. The local area. And that is also where Jonathan from the Design Review. As I said, there are different talks on the Grand Theatre all day. Um, all hosted by Kevin. So if you're a Kevin McLeod fan, this is the show for you. Um, Lots of stuff, on, I think most of it obviously is all, all geared around self-building, so they've got some people from the Grand Designs TV series to talk about their experience of building their own home, uh, and lots of kind of helpful stuff if you need tips for that kind of thing. Okay, so we've kind of ended up drifting into the kitchens and bathrooms bit. Uh, some very fancy kitchens to look at in here, I think. Some of these brands I recognise when I've been before. Um, and also from my random six months of experience working in the kitchen industry, that was a strange time. Um, Kitchen house, you know these guys, but beautiful stuff. When you see demo kitchens um, at stuff like Good Food Show, etc., it's often these guys who do the appliance stuff because it's just very cool bits of kit. Very cool. We like this kitchen. I'm really into this sort of deep green at the moment, it's beautiful. We also noticed as we walked past somebody opened a cupboard and there was a bottle of Whitley Neal gin in there, so that's definitely our scene. Yeah. Oh, I can see wine. That's better than a kitchen as well as the actual kitchens themselves they've also got stuff doing cookware this all looks rather fancy 
very fancy pounds. So, no, one of the big themes of Grand Designs Live every year is about sustainable building practices. It's something that Kevin McLeod is rather big on, I believe. Um, so they have this section, Kevin's Green Heroes, which is about products that are, well, green, basically, and the stuff that he thinks is particularly cool at the moment. I think in past years it's been a bigger section, so it's a shame that it seems to have shrunk a bit. However, it does look to seem to be more like everyday product based, which is cool, rather than necessarily building material. So we've got stuff like, yeah, and alternatives to like disposable cutlery. Cool. This square cleans your air. How does that work? Okay. Oh wow, okay. These are mineral paints with like tech in that purify the air. Wow. That's cool. So this is cool. This is a hand bike. It's designed to be outdoor gym equipment, which our local podcast. I hope you'll log up with these. Um, it's reflecting a bit on the surface. There you go. So on the top of it, it's got this. It's a charging station for your phone, basically. So you sit your phone in here, like pedal away with your hands on the hand bike, charge your phone up. How cool is that? Come across some very, very beautiful bathtubs. These are amazing. These are cool too. I like these actually. I'm usually more about, I like a classic bathtub, I'll show you my favourite when we get to it. But I actually really like these, they're really modern, really simple. If you had like a really modern house, that would be absolutely beautiful. And I love these, the roll top. Almost like old school tin bars, these are amazing too. They're like, um, oh what's the proper word for them, like the Japanese bathtubs, we have the little... No, no, not like the big ones, the ones you have in your home. They're like a little, and they are more oh, like a dunk yeah, yeah. pool thing. Yes. Okay. Somebody, if you know the proper name, I'm so sorry, I'm so ignorant about stuff like this, but that's what it makes me think of anyway. Gorgeous. Sort of thing you find in a sauna, I think. And these sinks are incredible as well. Absolutely amazing. This is my favourite, the copper one over here. I'd have that in my house in a heartbeat. Beautiful. But these are incredible. Look at these sinks. So we've got these amazing, again, like really sleek modern ones that would go with the baths over here. Wow. Beautiful basins. And then, look at that. The Onyx Basin is stunning. You would have to have the right house for that though, wouldn't you? You couldn't put that like in our bathroom, could you? That'd be ridiculous. That's beautiful though. Love that. Fire pits. We love a fire pit. I'd love to have one of these in the garden. They're amazing. Look at the size of this thing. God. It's the size of our garden. It is about the size of our garden. They're so cool though. No, I cook on fire. So you go, we'd have this little dinky one. That would fit in our garden. Yeah, that would work. Yeah, we'll have one of them. Uh, Lexus are one of the sponsors of the Grand Designs Live show, so they've got some of the cars out. It seems to mostly be the electric ones, which is pretty cool. Although, as much as electric cars are awesome, they don't solve the fact that they still take up the exact amount of room as a normal car. Let's do electric public transport instead. That'd be fair. Having said that, this car is rather beautiful, so who am I to judge? This is a bit of the show for me. We've got a whole load of coffee machines, all made by Siemens, we're getting another one of the sponsors, we're also doing the cafe for the uh, for the show. Loads of fancy coffee machines. Ooh. I've literally just finished my coffee though, so I'm not sure it's time for another, even for me it's too soon for another coffee. Maybe later. We've now come into the garden section. Um, we're about to have ours, or oh, hopefully about to have ours done, if our landlord agrees. But I think unfortunately most of this is probably going to be a little out of our budget and um, size. I mean this summer house is bigger than our garden. Incredible though, we'll probably look at that when we get around the other side, but wow, this? Yeah, I don't know how much inspo we're going to find for our garden here, but you never know. I like these though. These are cool. So this is coming called the Woodcrofters. And I've got an outdoor workstation basically for, yeah, your barbecuing bar, mini fridge down here, glass rack. Nice. Hello, hot tubs, hydro pool. Yeah. So we've got room for a hot tub, Dave? Uh, yeah, let's just rip, rip out the entire garden, put that in. Yeah. I think that'd be reasonable. This is a swims bar. So it's a hot tub, but huge. <laughs> this is absolutely wild. We have to pace back a bit so you can get some sense of escape of it. Walk into anybody. It's, <laughs> it's enormous. Wow. That's pretty huge. Every time I come to Grand Designs, I see these lantern thingies and I always love them. They're here every time. Like, I they're just so over the top but kind of brilliant so here we go these are the uh, like summer house looking things we were walking past the other side of they are incredible <laughs> just look at the size of these things you could live in them they are amazing though and so beautiful if you have yeah. a big garden yeah stunning i would love to have something like this in the dark garden i'd be better buy a bigger house first or buy a house at all i guess really 
I mean, how this has ended up in gardens, I don't know, because it basically looks like an apartment to me. I guess maybe if you've got a lot of fancy guests coming to stay, like a guest week, these guys are very famed already, they're architects. They do all kinds of stuff. Okay, they build like, yeah, residential student, residential staff. Cool. Let's have a little look. This reminds me of like nice Airbnbs. <laughs> I don't know if that's just me. No, this is lovely though. Yeah, as I say, I'm not quite sure what this is doing the garden bit. If your bit of garden is big enough for this, well done you. This is Florence. Hi, Florence. You can um, store, I was going to say alcohol, but I guess any cold drinks really. My brain went straight to alcohol in yeah. Florence. What, 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 you spill. Okay, two things. First of all, I want this tucked up bar. That's adorable. Give you the cute little stools. Second of all, what? Are you supposed to get him to go on your table? Do you just sit? What? Whose garden is this in? If you have one of these, please send me photos. Because. What? And we are into grand interiors. So, again, a lot of this is kind of mixed between like furniture and also inside stuff like your flooring, for example, as this bamboo flooring company is happily demonstrating for me. We found a load of wireless charging stuff. Love this kind of thing. This tech I think is so clever. So you've got phone stands, lamps that you just sit your phone down on and they charge without having to plug anything in. Which is great if like an hour house all the charging cables seem to disappear. We've got hundreds. Can we ever find any of them when we want them? No. As somebody who works from home and spends like base of my entire life hunched over a laptop, the idea of owning a chair that basically massages every square inch of you. Oh, the dream. Oh. One of the things going on today is the great sleep quality experiment. So they've basically got loads of mattresses from some of the world's like leading brands, um, and they've taken off all the pricing, all the specification details, and basically they want you to go along and lie on each of the mattresses and decide which one you like best. Number one, here we go. Oh, that's really soft. Mm. <laughs> what do you think? That is really is soft. Is it? Isn't it? Oh my that's goodness, really you're soft. in for an education. Is there pressure points on there? No, I hadn't actually. So these are the pressure points. Ah. That's amazing. That was super interesting. So it's been done by a sleep charity. Um, uh, basically, yeah, they, this is a blind test of mattresses. Really, really interesting. Um, the guy was showing us some of the tech of like some of the pressure points they're measuring. And obviously you just go and you fill in the questionnaire with your own feedback, but they have got one with like a pressure mat thing that's feeding into his computer. You can get some interesting info about kind of the answers people are giving. So yeah, it's cool. How cool is this guy? So there's one over there that's a horse but they're all made of reclaimed timber, outside benches. I mean, again, you've got to have the right garden for that avenue, but well, <laughs> the tables are stunning though. I'd have those in a heartbeat. See, this is the kind of thing I really like about background designs. They often do these kind of design challenges. So they did one in previous years that I really liked, which was all like turning the shed into a room. This one is all about the box room. Obviously a lot of British houses have got these tiny little extra bedrooms that back in the day would have been the third bedroom and are now the box room, often used as a study, and they've got people to design different uses of the box rooms. So yeah, let's go and have a look at some of these. This one's cute, done like as a kid's room, a little play area. Adorable, oh my God. <laughs> Spoke about RuPaul down there, amazing. How cute, so yeah, you've got like a little like tent, highly area, which I guess you could use as like a bunk bed. So cute, little reading nook. How adorable. Oh, this one's a bit fabulous, isn't it? Oh, there's me, hi. Oh, I mean, look at this. <laughs> this one is really clever. So this whole space is supposed to be multifunctional. So behind all these doors, basically you open and close different bits to set up the room for different functions. So you've got desk, you've got like a spare bed down here. You've got sports gear tucked in, music, also a load of storage. Just incredible. And then yeah, we've got shown some of the other configurations going around here on the screen. Oh, there's a bed. Oh yeah, because of course the fruit on your bag and the bed, but you fold it out for that. Genius. Very, very clever. Really clever use of the space. I like that. Quite cool stuff over here. Again, a lot of like repurposed stuff. And then also these seats that are designed of like bits of car. There's a janky robe there, which is quite beautiful. They're very cool. It's quite an eclectic mix of stuff though. Oh, I like this uh, phone box bar cabinet. That's really nice. I'd have that. Very cute. And then, yeah, it's all about like seats made to look like cars. Why not? I'm sure you'll be shocked, but we're buying cheese. Just a little samples. Cheese is from these guys here, Great British Cheese Company, all really cheeses. Nam nam, deliciousness. Have Instagram, guys. 
stop for some food, obviously, and look at these toasties. So the Sims Cafe are doing these incredible looking toasties. So I've gone for the hay pesto, which is chicken and pesto. Dave looks like the fancy crop on shore. He's also come back with some rather nice looking brownies. Mm. He's also just gone back to collect coffee, which is a very important part of this. But these look amazing. All right, I think that about brings us to a close here at Grand Designs today. Um, yeah, it's been interesting. Definitely some cool stuff to look at. Of course, we bought cheese, of all the things, at the self built show. Oh. Um, as I said, the show is on all through the weekend. If you're watching this on release day, Thursday 6th, still so got a few more days to come check this out. One, two, there were still plenty of tickets when I looked um, at some filming, so you should be fine. If you have enjoyed today, give it a big thumbs up. We'll see you very soon. Coming up on the channel, we've got a trip to a very cute little wildlife reserve, we've got the Sea Life Centre, a few nice bits coming up. So don't forget to subscribe so you can come with me. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon. Until then, be good. Bye. Trendy <laughs> light switches. That's the thing I didn't know I needed in my life. These are stalls with charging points and I'm guessing Alexa in. Wow. <laughs> Well, that sounds like somebody sat on it. Um, just uh, getting some ideas for my builds on The Sims 4.